Exclusive new images obtained by NBC News appear to show high-volume mail sorting machines out of service and dismantled. This one, which can process 35,000 pieces of mail an hour and which postal employees tell us was in good working condition, recently removed from a Waterloo, Iowa post office, now stored in a garage. Despite assurances from the Postal Service, the machines were being reallocated. It's currently just in mothballs here. Kimberly Carroll is president of the Iowa Postal Workers Union. It has definitely changed how our customers are receiving the mail. We're seeing a significant uh, delay in the mail. In Portland, Oregon, a postal employee says these sorting machines were in working condition before being decommissioned in the past two weeks. These images have not been independently verified by NBC News. In Grand Rapids, Michigan, a disassembled machine today found sitting in a post office parking lot. Reached for response, the Postal Service had no comment beyond Tuesday's announcement from Postmaster General Louis DeJoy who suspended until after the election his cost-cutting measures and policy changes, blamed for delivery delays and service slowdowns. In the announcement, DeJoy said mail processing equipment and blue collection boxes will remain where they are. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, in a statement today, says she spoke with the Postmaster General this morning and that he frankly admitted that he had no intention of replacing the sorting machines. And in a new Trump campaign video tonight, President Trump is seen filling out his mail-in ballot. He votes by mail in Florida, despite his false claims about ballot fraud. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.